of you have it, but Ron McDonald House, the reason we're here. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, my goodness. The reason Ronald McDonald House is here is because the Maria Ferrari Children's Hospital is 200 steps across the parking lot. And when families come into that hospital, maybe they have a critically injured child, maybe their child is sick, maybe the child has cancer, maybe the child is in a burn unit. There's so many things that could happen. And the parents find themselves in the hospital with their child and they live far away. Where are they going to stay? So that's where we come in. So we actually have 12 bedrooms in this house, and each bedroom is kind of like a hotel room. Two queen-size beds, we have a dresser, we have a TV, we have a big closet, big bathroom, and we supply everything in there for the families. So the way we're serving lunch right now, we give them all the meals, we give them a place to sleep, we give them a place to shower, and by keeping them close to their, to their child who's in the hospital, that's the most important thing. So most of the people who are here, actually 63% of the people who come to this house live in Dutchess, Putnam, Ulster, Orange, and Sullivan counties. So they're all north of here, but we have had people from Brooklyn, we've had people from New Rochelle, we've had people from Saudi Arabia, we've had people, right, Saudi Arabia. We had family here a couple of weeks ago, they were from Australia. So they were traveling and their child got ill and they found themselves in the hospital and we took care of us, that family. We, sure. So since you give everything, like everything is free to them, how do you guys make your money to keep That's everything here running? Question. That's a good question. So what we average is we actually say that what we give our families is the value of $219 a night and all we ask for is a donation of $15 a night. And if the people can pay, that's, and I use the word pay, but I really mean donate. If they can make that donation of $15 a night, that's obviously very appreciated. And if they can't, that's okay. So by staying here at the Ronald McDonald House, it doesn't matter if you can pay or not. But what we do to raise money is we do fundraising. We have the generosity of so many people. I'm so lucky in the fact that with my job, I actually see the generosity of people. Like you today, you're here giving a service to families who they really need it. One of the moms, well, I don't know actually the mom who you're gonna see today, but we've had people who've been here for a couple months and are going and getting your hair cut and just getting a spa treatment or just having somebody touch you and do something for you, that's huge. You know, if all you're worried about over the entire time is, is your child gonna get sick? And then you guys come and you say, let me wash your hair and blow dry your hair. You know, your hair looks good, right? You feel better. So it's huge that you're here. So the generosity of people like you, people like MasterCard who's cooking the meals right now, we have groups, they do two meals a day. Different groups come in, so we might have a, a group like you come in and make breakfast, and then we might have a different group come in at uh, dinner table. Uh, we have a huge pantry that's here, so if somebody doesn't like what's being cooked, they can make their own food, and we supply them. So again, we are, we raise money by doing events. We do about seven, eight big events every year. Uh, we do walks, we do golf, we do dinner galas, all, all different kinds of things. We have a lot of generous people who just will write us a check. But for us, we're out there. We're trying to make people understand how important this is. And you know, Christmas time and the tree and, and all that, the generosity of folks is just is remarkable. It's remarkable. Yeah, so I'll tell you about our tree, actually. Um, there's a company it's called American Christmas, and they're the people who put up the Macy's trees and the trees and all those fancy uh, stores and Saks Fifth Avenue and all that. 
and that's our beautiful tree. And we always have a waiting list. So we have 12 bedrooms full. People stay here um, average 22 to 25 nights, which is wow. a very long time. Yeah. The people who were here from Saudi Arabia that I mentioned, they were here for almost eight months. Mm. The longest family so far that's been here um, was 508 nights, and they were from Albany. Mm. And they had other children at home, and just think about going back so, and forth and worrying about what's going on here. That was just, it was, it was a horrible situation. Um, one of the things that I would like to ask you to do, you can do it in your house, you can do whatever. You know those little soda taps? And you know when you take right. it off? One of the things that Ronald McDonald houses do, and there's 350 houses around the world, you collect those. Oh. And those little pop tops, pull tabs, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Um, last year in this house, we collected 2,251,459 wow. little pull tabs. I did not count all of those, <laughs> but I do know that there's 1,267 of them in a pound, and we bring all of that to the recycler who's in Elmsford, and that equated to 1,763 pounds. We could do that. We can do and that. We can do that. Yeah. I mentioned before how much she's got. I mentioned before how much a donation is in the house. It's 15 dollars a night. So 15 divided into that. It, it came out to really out to about $880. So 15 into 880 is about 60 nights. So those little pieces of garbage, really, um, allow 60 awesome. nights for somebody to stay in this house. Well, and that's definitely. huge. We're, we'll ha we're happy to do that. We're happy okay. to do that. Now we have one to start off with, Queenie. Okay, there you go. So um, we're going to start off with a collection at the school. Well, I'll make sure that we'll make an announcement. <laughs> yep. Okay. That, that could be huge. Um, somebody from the USTA, which is, you know, the US Open, that was down in um, uh, Flushing. Somebody heard me give my little math test, and um, they collected all of the tennis can lids for us, and they collected over 9,000 tennis can lids, and all of their garbage then we brought to the recycler, and that accounted for more than a week's stay for a family. So that's another way we raise that's a little money, but it's huge because every single time somebody thinks about it, so that's over two million times last year that somebody thought about Ronald McDonald House. And that's what I really want you to think about. Every single time you pull that off the soda can and you drop it in there, you're helping somebody. It might seem so simple, but you're thinking about us and we really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So let me go get them. Okay. It's a little yes. trim. So you can just give her a zero degree cut all the way around across. We're not going to take like a whole bunch off. Zero degree make. What's her name? Liliana. Liliana. Okay. What is she gonna get done today? She just wants her hair cut and cut. I guess. No problem. I'll be doing a zero degree cut on that. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. We need to get cut.
washed it. I just came looking for a flat iron. Look at that. You can work this shit. A flat iron. You can flat iron. Yeah, we need to grab a flat iron. Okay, that's fine. Turn it back. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. skills and what they've done in the classroom and then bringing it into the real world um, but in also doing and giving back to their community um, it's just been a wonderful experience CTE really does give that ability to you know do classroom work and then real world work and it's just skills that they can use in the future um, and build upon uh, to in any career field that they go into and then what at what point do you do the select like an area to focus on, like cosmetology or some of the other CTE programs? They, is that right freshman year? Or they could, they can if they wanted to. Uh, usually ninth grade, they just sort of go through uh, just the regular classes. And then about uh, sophomore year, they decide what what area they want to go to. If they do CTE, they can do cosmetology, automotive, uh, graphic arts, photography. Um, and then they can explore you know, every class that they want. They, they, if they decide one semester that they want to do cosmetology and it's not for them, then they could go and let's say do automotive. Um, it's just, it's it's a great way to just figure out what you want to do prior to then going to college. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned that there's plans for other CTE students to work with the Ronald McDonald House? Right, yeah. So currently we have the cosmetology students and then we're going to be having um, graphic arts and web design and then hopefully next year uh, be using the culinary students to come in and cook for them uh, maybe once in a while so that should be nice and then maybe even the automotive students coming in and servicing some of the cars for the residents as well which would be nice so yeah Miss Moretti has been so open and, and fabulous with that yeah very welcoming volunteers that were willing to come and help out at the Ronald McDonald House. They have parents here that stay for a couple of days while their children are getting cared for in the hospital. You know, people come from out of town, out of the state, and then we have people that live in the community too. And we're just here to help and just lift and give smiles for people that don't have time to get their hair done. Or, you know, we do little mini makeovers also. And it's, and it's a good experience for our kids just to get their hands on clients client operator service, you know, experience. The benefits for my students to be here today is transforming from the classroom to the community and we're actually giving a service. And it's an awesome feeling. Just re it's a rewarding feeling actually when they're finished with the clients and then you end up seeing that smile at the end of the day. That's just, that's just so rewarding.